What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. So, folks? You know who I am and, like, definitely you know what I do, so I'm going to get into it today. Today I'm going to talk about, I'm going to do a, a bunch of videos since I got time lately and, uh, you know, the usual check me out on all the channels because I got videos popping on all of them, so, but I'm going to talk about different topics today. Today I'm going to start off talking about the EEU. Now, the EEU is, stands for Eurasian Economic Union. Now, Russia founded this, was a founding member, and Putin wants to, like I told you people before, Putin wants to put together the old Soviet Union. To do that, he can't call it the old Soviet Union because people remember days of yore. And he can, that's one reason why he can't do it. There's the second reason why he can't do it because satellite countries, if that's what you want to call them, the old Soviet Union, some were joining NATO, and some of them, have, like, as I told you before, were requesting NATO bases, like Poland, are requesting, requesting NATO bases in their country. They want NATO to have a presence inside Poland, just in case some stuff jumps off. That's number two. Number three, you got places like Ukraine that are jumping off right now. And you got the Russian, pro quote Russian groups, who I think are backed by Russia, of course, the country, for fighting Ukraine. So there's extra one in Ukraine. But starting off, Russia, Putin got uh, two countries. You got Kazakhstan and you got Belarus. And uh, this could be the beginning of his, like I said, this is the beginning of his desire pull together the old Soviet Union to a modern form, a modern economic union. No, he wants to do this so he can rival the U.S., so he can, uh, you know, rival the EU, stuff like that. But here's the thing with this. The language inside their, I guess all the agreements, the language, it stops short of talking about any type of political integration. Like, like remember the old Soviet Union. It was all politically integrated, it was all one party, whatever. There's been no talk about, like, political integration, saying that's uh, purely economical. But a lot of countries in the region need Russia. They need Russia because they rely on the relatively cheap Russian energy and, like, like Belarus and Kazakhstan get all sorts of subsidies from Russia. No different than what we do in America, how we give different countries subsidies and stuff like that. But, uh, so it may not be in the future. Well, maybe you return in the future for the old hammer and hammer and sickle. I mean, it's looking like that when you think about it. Uh, I mean, Putin may be a little delusional, but the dude's not a dummy. And the dude's relishing days of yore. I mean, he's like I said, I, I think I've told you this before. Putin said that the breakup of the Soviet Union was the worst geopolitical disaster ever. Now, imagine all the political disasters you can think of. He said that the breakup of the Soviet Union was the worst political, geopolitical disaster in modern day history, history period. But I think Putin will get it because he can strong arm with the gas and energy. He can raise prices, like I said, Gazprom is mostly government owned. That's the gas company in Russia. Gazprom is mostly government owned. There may be some private, you know, on paper, private owners, but that's just, you know, that's just a little tap dance and show the glitz. So we gotta watch out for this because it's the economic union. No, it's the Eurasian economic union and I think it'll be a powerful force because if they can do all this and put all, go back and get all the resources together, because the EU's have a fish right now, America, we're going through our thing. So right now is prime to do this. And I mean, you won't get back to the old Soviet Union, but you will retain some sort of economic you know, foundation so you can build on and move in the future. So we'll keep an eye on this and we'll let you know what's going on. Peace.